Hey, hey uh, Coach Bennett said he thought you and the other guards might have been inspired by the guests in the house tonight. Did that uh, having Ty here and Steph Curry? Did that come into play at all? Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, you go out and you just, you know, you try to play your game and take take with the opportunities um, as they come. But obviously, it gives a little extra motivation with, with them on the sideline. Jaden, this is two teams that are pretty good defensively, but today it was about the offense. Like, what was clicking out there offensively for you guys? Uh, for us, you know, just taking good shots and um, teammates finding us the ball. And uh, I think we our three game is kind of clicking, you know, we're just playing off each other. And, uh, you know, when guys shoot the ball well, you know, IMAC, Armand, Reese, Kihei, you know, we're a tough team to beat. Jaden, I'm, I'm wondering, since you guys went to a little bit smaller lineup, what's been the biggest adjustment for, for you? Uh, and, and did you feel more comfortable tonight offensively? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for the small, smaller lineup is everyone gang rebounding, come back and rebound. And I think that's what we've been doing. It's been a tremendous job, guards coming back. And uh, for me, you know, just guys just trusting me, you know, I've been doing this for a while. So I just got to get back in the rhythm. Yeah, Kihei, I don't know if it was a full circle moment for you with Tyson and Quartza, but you passed Mamadi to become the all-time wins leader in UVA history. Tony said you, you got a little cheat code, a little asterisk because you came back for the year, but what's it mean just kind of all these wins that you've kind of racked up this year and just kind of looking back at the decision to come back this year? Um, you know, kind of like what Coach Bennett said is, is a team award, right? Um, with the players that I've been playing with from my first year up until now, I mean, um, played with some great guys, so... Um, it means a lot to just be in that conversation, of course. Yeah, it seems like a lot of coaches come in here after games and, and tell us that they told you they hope they never see you again, or you know, pat you on the back. What's what what is that? What is that like when coaches say stuff like that? Uh, I mean, I guess it's it's a compliment, so you know they're just uh, tipping their hat to you, and um, you know you just acknowledge it and. Uh, but obviously, it feels good. I mean, obviously, you're doing something right if, if they don't want to play against you. Aiden, uh, Ryan Dunn is obviously earning the coach's trust. He's playing a lot more now than he did. What What's he doing at this stage of the season that maybe he wasn't ready to from the jump? I think him just being active on the defensive end has been a real uh, – asset for us you know he's getting steals he's getting blocks and even though he's young his offense is still coming along but defensively he's been tremendous he's all over and active and just helping guys on the court so I think with uh, the increased playing time he's getting really more comfortable out there. Yeah, yeah you guys have been using that, uh, that three-man triangle uh, base offense a little bit more what do you see out of that and, and how does that sort of suit your personnel especially with with Ben at the five? Um. You know, I think the movement with Reese, Armand, and Ben um, when they're inside, you know, just screening and cutting, you know, it's it's hard. It's some simple, but um, some hard for the defenses to kind of just play against. And, um, you know, you got me on the side and, and IMAC on the other side just being ready to shoot. You know, you have baseline drives uh, when you're on the wing. So um, I think it's kind of just something that suits our playing style right now. Yeah, you, you keep um, you Reese and Armand have played a lot of games together. What do you think you've kind of found with the rhythm there? Just kind of where all of y'all can kind of get going offensively on the same night. Uh, it's just trust. I mean, you know, we we trust each other a hundred percent and believe in each other. You know, we just you know when guys shoot their shots, you think it's going in, and you know on the defensive end, you know I'm taking our three guards against anybody else. So um, I think it's just through the games and um, through the repetitions, but. Just being on the court together is the trust. Yeah, you guys only had five turnovers tonight, the fewest you've had this season. What was working and what was the key to good ball security tonight? Um, you know, they're not a, a super press up on you type of defense. You know, they kind of pack it up like we do. So, um, But you still got to be strong um, when you get in there and you drive. So, um, But yeah, it was, it was good to just see that number and something you strive for later on in the season because you know that's important. This was a game that w was dominated by offense. How would you evaluate what you guys did on the defensive end? Was it just tough spots they were putting you in, or were there some things that you kind of looked at, both of you, and thought, OK, that needs to tighten? Um, I probably just say, like, for defensively, uh, just closing out those shooters. I thought they got out of too many, like, rhythm shots. And um, 
offensively, you know, just keep moving and keep trusting each other. But other than that, I think we play really solid UVA style basketball tonight. They run really good stuff. You know, they put you in a hard spot. So we made adjustments on the fly, and it's just something you got to work on. You know, prepare for it. He had, it's not unusual now when we see you scoring 20 points in a game. At what point in your career do you think you became more of a scorer? Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, you know, sophomore year, the ball was in my hands a lot. But, um, you know, now this year, kind of just pick my spots and just try to give what the team needs me to do and um, just trying to be confident when, whenever I get a chance to be on the offensive end.